Hi everybody. Uh, what I'm doing today is a field test to establish uh, the accuracy of the method to determine the taper of the trees that I'm planning on using to yield logs for our home. And so what that actually means is that if you look at a tree over the course of its run from the base all the way to the top, they taper. They start out wider at the bottom and they get narrower at the top. Now, the nice thing about these tulip poplars or yellow poplars, as they're commonly known, is that they have a pretty uh, limited taper, which is nice because that means that you can yield the most board foot uh, per vertical foot out of them. So that's all encouraging. I had a real concern um, as I looked out over my poplar stand here that I might not have enough of the right size trees to yield the diameter size logs necessary to build our home. So that was something that was going around in my head all summer. So I finally gotten out here and I started measuring them and it turns out that we're in good shape. Now there's a couple things that go into those measurements uh, in order to accurately assess the type uh, and size log that you can get out of a particular tree. And one of them involves a formula. It's a taper a formula for the tree. And I did a lot of looking around on the internet yesterday and man, you can go down a deep rabbit hole on these. Finally backed out far enough to find out that good old Wikipedia had a formula, pretty basic formula that is very accurate in terms of the, the calculations that I need to establish for this. It's about a 2% accuracy rate. And that's, that's fine for what I'm dealing with. Anyway, my dad was able to take that formula and put it into a, a, a spreadsheet formula that I can run on my phone. And so after taking a few measurements on the trees, then I can establish what the diameter at a certain height or any given height on that tree is. And that's the key. So for example, uh, this tree here behind me with the, the green ribbon uh, represents a tree that will yield a a 32 foot long, six by 12 hewn log that I will saw uh, out of this log on my lumber mill. And so that's great. Uh, that is a tremendous relief for me because like I said earlier, you look around here and you know trees can be a little deceptive in terms of the size lumber that they'll yield. But what allowed me to do this is a couple of things. One is that formula from Wikipedia, and the other is an iPhone app that lets you measure the height of a tree using your phone. Um, the principle of it is, is basically the Pythagorean theorem that you mark uh, a spot on the tree with your phone and you walk away from it and then you mark another one and then you walk further away from it and then you use your camera to look up at it and it calculates that leg, that hypotenuse, and it'll tell you how tall that tree is. And that's information that you need to plug into the formula that I've got on my iPhone spreadsheet that will give me the diameter at a certain point up that tree uh, in order to say, okay, I can use this one for my 32 inch, uh, 32 foot uh, length of log. And then once I establish that I have a tree, I will mark it off my spreadsheet and then use a GPS trail mapping system called Gaia. It's originally was designed for off-roading and overlanding and hiking adventures. But the nice thing about the Gaia app is you can uh, drop points uh, and they're based on uh, grid coordinates, latitude and longitude, and it's pretty accurate. I mean, it's within eight feet accuracy that I've um, yielded in my testings. And so, for example, with this tree here, it's got an a alphanumeric designator, and I will then pin it through Gaia and all of the other trees then and correlate them with my spreadsheet so that when it's time to cut, then I can develop a plan uh, to cut the logs that will eventually go on the bottom courses of the cabin, I will cut those last and then I'll cut the ones that are on the top courses first. And then I will take those top course logs and crib them and they will be at the bottom of the crib. And then the logs that are inversely going to be at the bottom of the cabin <coughs> will be at the top of the crib and they'll be on top of the stack. So when I'm ready to start building the cabin, I'll be pulling the bottom course logs from the top of the crib and then placing them on the cabin. So it's an inverse 
uh, operation. I know there. there's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, talking around that, but it's it's a very important part of harvesting your lumber if that's something that you're going to do on your own property to make sure that you're not cutting down trees that won't serve the purpose that you've got them uh, in mind for. So anyway, that's a Merry Christmas for me and a Happy New Year to all of you.